Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have a specialty here on my cask. It's a Macallan, 20 years old, vintage 1994, filled in the bottle 2014. Quite a recent bottling. And it's Gordon MacPhail, one of the famous, if not the most famous, independent bottlers of single malt whiskies. What means independent bottler? Well, uh, the company Garland MacPhail, over 130 years old, I think, um, does not own the Macallan distillery, but it bottles whiskey from this distillery and uh, the independent bottles of Macallan have vanished from the market. So Macallan does not sell casks any longer to outside the company. Why? They need all the casks inside the distillery or inside their own bottlings uh, and they had to switch from year statements on the label to, well, color names on the label and all those years or vintages vanished from the bottles. So they need every cask they have and they do not give casks any longer outside the company. But Gordon MacPhail, they have casks and they have a lot of casks and they still have casks uh, starting the last, the freshest cask filled in the bottle was 2005, I think, uh, under this Spay Malt label I have here. Um, and this shows that Macallan still has, has supplies from Macallan. Why? Well, there are rumors that uh, original casks aging 50 years old uh, are sold back to Macallan from Gordon MacPhail so that they are able to bring out a few rarities under the original Macallan label and in the interchange for this bringing back the casks Gordon MacPhail still has the allowance to have their own casks filled at the Macallan distillery. Might it be true? Perhaps. Um, the Spay Malt series is a series of aged Macallan single malt whiskies, uh, and the old bottles had a, a silicone, no, a textile rope here in front, uh, so that you are, were able to f distinguish these extremely valuable bottles from others. So this was a, a specialty on the outside of these bottles. Um, in the meantime, <laughs> they saved money, changed the tube, uh, and all which is left from this textile rope or silky rope uh, is this red uh, part of the label showing this, I guess, a rope behind the label. Um, 1994, bottle 2014, 43% ABV. Um, the Spay Malt from McKellen Distillery range includes a series of exceptional single malts, each matured in the highest quality casts selected by Garn and McPhail. Fresh tropical fruit aromas with subtle beeswax and aniseed notes. The palate is peppery initially, with ripe banana and charred oak flavors. The finish is smooth and creamy. Um, there are other uh, Spay Malt whiskies on the market. As I said, the 2005 is actually on the shelves, as well as dating back to 1966, 1972. I had the honor to, to have a 1972 here on my cask open. I'm afraid there is no video in English language about that. They are typically whiskies around 10 years of age, 20 years of age and 30 years of age. And the first, they are affordable. This one is a little expensive. And those aging 30 years are <laughs> far too.
too expensive. No, not far too expensive. Expensive. And if you honor the work of McKellen and Gordon MacPhail, then probably you pay the money they ask for. <sighs> Tropical fruit. <sighs> Lots of fruits. And which tropical fruits? Well, <laughs> I'm not living in in a tropical climate, so sometimes I have muesli in the morning and I buy a papaya or a mango or a, a pineapple or grenadine. All these are in here, mixed, and I can't figure out which one. Well, it's quite an, an old whiskey, 20 years of age, and this means uh, all these aromas intermix and give a complex aroma. Little sweetness is appearing, and this sweetness might be this beeswax. Might be. And from the anise seed, not really, there's a, a little cold note in here. It might come from the, uh, from the alcohol, from the ABV, but it might also be this anise seed they talked about. In the beginning, very gentle, very mild, very sweet on your tongue, and then this peppery aroma is building up. A spiciness is coming, covers all your tongue, and after swallowing, the intense aromas stay for a little while, and now they are gone. No, not gone, but they fade away, and there is a smooth and creamy aftertaste, and you're still able to find this, well, milk chocolate aroma. <sighs> Wonderful fruit. So this whiskey might not be a Oloroso or Pedro Jimenez sherry cask, uh, because it's too light for 20 years of age. Uh, I visited uh, Garner McFagel with the bottling line and there they had these uh, mixing this marrying vats and they are able to carry between mm, five big casks or 10 12 small casks um, and uh, they mix together different types of types of casks so there might be some hogsheads and a fresh sherry and and whatever they mix intermix for this whiskey um, and this one is not too sherry driven there's still the uh, distillery character visible or tasteable, these tropical fruits, and all fine together to the harmony of the distillery character and the cask maturation. Sometimes if you have these heavy sherry casks, then the sherry casks are far too heavy and they cover all the distillery character. And if it's too light and it's uh, is uncolored here, so this is original color. If it's light, light white wine, uh, then typically the distillery character is too strong and the cask influence is too small. And this one hits the maximum. It's wonderful, complex, McKellen. But if you expect a heavy sherry influence, like the old McKellen, 12 years old or 18 years old, this is completely different. Don't think about that. It's far lighter sherry and the distillery character, which is uh, because the stills are so small and they does not uh, 
distill that exactly. So you have uh, intense aromas coming over in the small stills. So this intense aroma from the small stills mix with the lighter casks and after a long maturation period of 20 years, uh, distillery character and cask character finally match. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. There's more to come. Stay tuned and look up those bottles in our whiskey database on whiskey.com.